Hey guys, so today I'll be doing a banana bread muffin recipe. I got all those bananas for a dollar, which is a killer deal. So I've got a lot of <laughs> muffins to make. Um, I'm going to put some on my cake stand and then the rest I will just put in bags and freeze. And that way I can just pull them out the night before. Um, and April and Reagan can have them in the morning for breakfast. <clears throat> so it's probably going to take me, honestly, I'm probably going to have to do like four, four batches, <laughs> but that's okay because they were a really good deal and I won't have to do this for a while because I'll have them in the freezer ready to go, right? <laughs> All right, so I've got three bananas in here mashed up with a fork. And right now I'm working on the topping that goes like a little crumble topping on top of it. I got um, half a cup of brown sugar, half a cup of white sugar, a cup of flour, and I'm going to add a teaspoon of cinnamon. And then we're going to cut in a stick of butter. This is my favorite recipe. I think I got it out of a Food Network magazine like eight years ago. <laughs> I love it. It's the best. All right, I just want to kind of mix all of this stuff together first. It'd be easier to cut that flour in. Oh, big old chunk of molasses from when I made the uh, brown sugar. Okie dokie. Get a knife. Oh, they're all in the dishwasher. Jeez Louise. We haven't emptied the dishwasher yet today. I cut my butter into little cubes before I cut it in with um, the fork. I don't have a pastry cutter. Uh, I don't know. I just, I don't. I think a fork works just fine. And it's just one more thing, you know, to have in your cupboards. And Lord knows I got enough. Oh, my hand. Nope, dog's out. So I'm going to just cut this butter in and get it all mixed together till it's like a nice crumble and I'll be back. All right, it's all mixed into a crumble. I'm gonna, um, I'll hold up my recipe card. So if you want the recipe, you can pause the video and take a screenshot. This is the crumble mixture. And hopefully you can read my writing. And this is the muffin recipe. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Jesus, Mary and Joseph. Okay. All right. So we've got the topping done. We've made a mess. So check and check. <laughs> All right. Then to this bowl, we're going to add a cup of sugar, a cup of butter, and a half a cup of brown sugar. Cup of 
sugar. Got to make some more brown sugar. You can add nuts if you want. Uh, we don't do nuts in this house, honey. <laughs> uh, I'm not adding nuts. <laughs> and I got to get my butter and we're going to beat this together and I'll be back. All right. We've got our butter and sugar mixture whipped into submission. <laughs> now I've got two eggs in here and I'm going to add a splash of vanilla. Give those a whisk. your eggs in, the banana, flour, a teaspoon each of baking powder and baking soda. Get down, gringo. And a pinch of salt. Gringo, go on. And then we're gonna just whisk this together a bit, throw it in there, and then um, we'll just mix that mixture until it is just brought together. You don't wanna over mix it. Pinch of salt. I knew I had a whisk around here somewhere. Oh well. I'll just give it the old stir with this little measuring spoon. I'm going to turn my oven on to 350. Dump that in there. low and give it a nice little mix up. Gringo, go on. And this is a thick uh, muffin batter. I'm gonna fill the muffin tins and bring you back for the topping. Okie dokie, got them filled. And then we're just gonna spoon that little crumble mixture on top. And these are gonna go in the oven for 18 to 22 minutes, depending on your oven. I'm using the big muffins. Um, you use whatever size you want. But 
but we're chubby and those little muffin tins just will not do. All right, popping these bad boys in the oven. And I've got a lot more of these to make. So <laughs> I will uh, end the video with all of my day's work and muffin making. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the recipe. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button. And uh, thanks for watching. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye-bye. All right, I got these with the streusel topping, these without, uh, this without, they're just like square cake style banana bread, a humongous mess to clean up and a ton of dishes to do. And I have a bun banana bunt pan bread in the oven. So I'm a, that's my fourth batch and quite honestly, that's why I made it into a bunt cake is because like, listen, I'm over it, honey. <laughs> this was a lot, this was a big, uh, this was a big task, but I won't have to make banana bread again for a long time. I'm gonna put just a few muffins in my cake stand. The rest are gonna get frozen. Um, and like I said, I'm sending my son home with some, oh, actually, no, the bunt, um, uh, the bunt cake is going to go in the cake stand. All of those are going to get uh, frozen, but for a dollar and my time, that's one hell of a deal. I don't buy eggs, obviously, and I have a huge... Uh, well, I have an abundance of flour, sugar, and butter that I keep in my house. So other than my time, it cost me a dollar to make all of that, which I think is one hell of a deal. So I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.